Good day and thank you for joining us. So if you can remember last time we looked at plotting parabolas. In today's lesson we'll be looking at determining the equation of the parabola. So on the slide we can see we've been given a, a nicely sketched parabola over here. We can see that the turning point is at 4, negative 4 on the graph which is 0 and negative 4. And then we can also see that we have x-intercepts given to us of negative 2 and positive 2. So let's just throw our equation in here quickly. So we know that it's y is equal to ax squared plus q. So if we are already being given q, which is negative 4 over here, we can just indicate to them q is equal to negative 4. We can write in our equation now y is equal to ax squared minus 4. So at this point we only have one unknown in the equation which is a. And the reason I say that's the only unknown is because we have x and y here which are placeholders for coordinates. So all we need to do now is substitute in any set of coordinates that is given to us. So let's have a look at the coordinates right over here which is negative 2 or we could either use positive 2. Any one will do. So we'll move with the positive one. And we know this coordinate is 2 and 0. 2 being the x value, 0 being the y value. So let's substitute that into our equation. So we will tell them that we are substituting in 2 and 0. We move over to the right hand side. So what that looks like is once we substitute that into our equation, in the place of y we'll put in 0 is equal to a, in the place of x we'll put in 2, which will be squared, and that is minus 4. So we're left with 0 is equal to a times 2 squared minus 4. Further expanding on this, we get a, and 2 squared is going to give me 4, so we can write it as 4a, as it is together and have it minus 4 over here. So all that's left for us to do now is to solve for a. So we'll take the negative 4 over and when it goes over it becomes positive. So we left 4a. To get a by itself obviously we know we need to divide by 4. Due to the one side, due to the other side, that cancels. So therefore a is going to be equal to 1. Also, very important to note, we can see that we got a as a positive number which will also confirm that it's correct because the parabola is a smiley face and remember positive a gives us a smiley face negative a gives us a sad face and so now we can write in our answer now we can then say therefore the equation of this graph is y is equal to remember a is now so we can write 1 or you can leave the 1 out remember it's just a placeholder in this case x squared minus 4. Cool, or it'll look as x squared minus 4 if you take out the 1. So just like that we determined the equation of this graph. So what did we do? They gave us the turning point so we immediately told them q is equal to negative 4, put that in the equation, then we substituted in any other coordinate given to us and that allowed us to get a. And then we wrote out our final equation. So now moving on we can look at this example over here. In this case we're given a parabola, clearly it's a smiley face, so we know that a is going to be positive once we work it out. And so this turning point that's given to us is negative 16. So firstly we'll always write out our equation. Our equation is y is equal to ax squared plus q. And we found that q is equal to negative 16. So our equation is going to be written as follows. y is equal to ax squared minus 16. So once again, all we need to do now, because we're given other coordinates, we just need to choose one of them. Let's choose the negative one this time. So we'll use the negative 4 on the x-axis, which is obviously negative 4 and 0. So we can let them know that we are going to substitute in the negative 4 and 0. Move it over here to the right hand side as we have been doing. 
So in the place of y we have 0 is equal to a, this is negative 4 squared minus 16. So what's going to happen now is we're going to, we can start by taking the 16 over now already because we know it's going to go over at some point. So it will become 16, positive 16, correct? And then negative 4 squared gives me, so now remember we scared, squaring a negative number gives us positive 16. So we're left with 16 a on this side. So now to get a by itself, we divide by 16 both sides. Cancel, cancel. So therefore our a is going to equal to 1, a positive 1 also, which confirms because it's positive and we have a smiley face parabola. So we can say therefore y is equal to x squared minus 16 or if you want to include the 1 you may do so. Moving on now to our next example we can see that it looks a bit different now. So we've, we've been given our turning point but now the other coordinates is not set on the x-axis but that doesn't necessarily change what we are going to do. So let's just follow on with how we've been solving our examples thus far. y is equal to ax squared plus q. q is given to us as negative 1. So we can say q is equal to negative 1. So therefore we have a y is equal to ax squared minus 1. Cool. Now what we need to do is, if you can recall, we need to substitute in one other point that's given to us and we are given 1 and negative 2. So we're going to say we're going to sub in, sorry, sub in 1 and negative 2. We're going to pull it over to the right hand side. So once we substitute that in, we have negative 2 is equal to a 1 squared minus 1. Cool. So, from this point, we can start by taking this negative 1 over. It becomes positive 1. So, we have negative 2 plus 1 is equal to 1 squared is 1. So, we're just left with a regular a on the side. And so, negative 2 plus 1 gives me negative 1. So, therefore, a is equal to negative 1. And this also confirms because a in this case is negative, so we have a sad face parabola. So that confirms at least that our sign in front of our a value is correct. And then we finished off by writing our final equation in, so that's going to be y is equal to, so you see we don't have to write in the 1 now, but that negative sign is very important, so we'll write negative x squared minus 1. And that is the equation for this parabola above. Moving on now to example number three. So, looking at this example, we can see a few things that are different now. Or just one main thing. Okay? So, we've been given the x coordinates, but we have not been given the turning point of our graph. So, I'm going to show you now how we're going to go about solving for the equation of this parabola without the turning point available to us. So this method is going to involve using the x the x-intercepts of the graph. So if you can recall, um, when we find these x-intercepts when plotting the graph using the intercept method, we usually left with something like x plus 3, right? And then we would get x minus 3 from that, which would lead to us plotting it on our graph over there. Okay. So all we're going to do is reverse this step basically. So we know that x that this negative 3 would have been x plus 3 and this positive 3 would have been x minus 3. So what you're going to write out now is you're going to write y is equal to a. Because remember we need to work out a still as well. A. And now what you're going to write out is two brackets open like this. Right? So this is why we're reversing the steps that found the x the x intercept. So it's going to be x plus 3 and x minus 3. Cool. So that x, that minus 3 over there became x plus 3 and that positive 3 became x minus 3. We just reversed the step. 
So what we need to do now is times out these two brackets. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do that. So okay. So remember, we need to times it as the x is going to times the x in that bracket and then times the negative 3. And this 3 is going to times the x and then the 3 is going to times the negative 3. Cool, so we'll be left over with one bracket. So x times x gives me x squared. x times negative 3 gives me negative 3x. Three, 3 times x gives me positive 3x. And 3 times negative 3 gives me negative 9. Also, we already know that these two are going to cancel out in the middle, so we can go ahead and cancel those out. And so what the equation now looks like is y is equal to a x squared minus 9. So what we need to go ahead and do now is solve for a. And the way we're going to do that is by substituting in values for x and y. And to do that, we use whatever else has been given to us, whatever other coordinates given to us in this case is negative 2 and negative 5. Okay, one's the x value, one's the y value. So what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to sub in negative 2 and negative 5. And what the equation now looks like is negative 5 is equal to a. Sorry, this needs to be a square bracket because we have another bracket inside. So this is going to be negative 2 squared minus 9. So, if you can see now, A is our only unknown, and what we are doing is solving for A. Cool, so we're going to have minus 5 here is equal to A. So now we have negative 2 squared gives me positive 4, minus 9. And this is going to be minus 5 is equal to A. 4 minus 9 gives me minus 5. We're just going to bring this around to the top over here. So we can continue. Just going to rewrite that. We have negative 5 is equal to a and minus 5. So obviously we're trying to get a by itself. So what we need to do is divide both sides by negative 5. And so we get a is equal to positive 1. Cool. So now that we found the value of a, what we can do is we can head back to the equation that we had before, which was, I'm just going to choose different colors so we can differentiate y is equal to a x squared minus 9. And so what it's up to us to do now is to substitute in the value of a. So we're going to substitute in a is equal to 1. And once we do that, we'll times the value of a into this bracket over here. So we're going to have y is equal to 1 times x squared minus 9. And so from there, we'll get our final equation for our graph which is going to be obviously 1 times in isn't going to change anything so it's left as x squared minus 9 which is the final equation of this parabola and obviously we can see that a was positive which confirms because parabola is a smiley face and so just like that we've found the equation of a parabola without them giving us the turning point and all they gave us was the x-intercepts and the any other point or coordinate on the graph so now moving on, we're going to head over to the next example. Once again, it's one of those examples where they give us the x-intercepts and any other coordinate on the graph. So as usual, we're going to start now with our new equation we learned, which is y is equal to a. Sorry, let me just get a different color here. Oops. y is equal to a. We're going to open up our two brackets now, right? So remember, we're going to backtrack from minus 4 and backtrack from positive 4. So negative 4 becomes x plus 4 and positive 4 becomes x minus 4. Cool, so now that we've done that, we can times these two brackets together. So y is equal to a. x times x gives me x squared. x times negative 4 gives me negative 4x. 4 times x gives me positive 4x, and positive 4 times negative 4 gives me negative 16. So we know the positive 4 and negative 4 cancel each other out, so the equation we left over with is y is equal to a, x squared minus 16. So from here, we need to be have a as our only unknown, so we'll substitute in the point that's given to us, which is 1 and 15. So we'll just let them know we are subbing in. 
1 and 15. And so what our equation is going to look like now is 15 is equal to a. Sorry, this is a square bracket. 1 squared minus 16. Cool. So now all we need to do is times what's in the brackets over here. So we have 15 is equal to a. 1 squared gives me 1. Minus 16 gives me negative 15. So we're going to proceed to move it up here. I'm going to rewrite that for you guys. 15 is equal to a and minus 15. So we need to get a by itself. We divide by a negative 15. So these two will cancel here. We left with a. So remember it's a positive divided by a negative. So we get negative 1 in this case, which is correct because we know that Obviously, we at least know that the sign is correct because it's a negative and we have a sad face parabola. Cool. So, from here, all we need to do is substitute a into our equation that we had before. So, we're going to say sub a equals negative 1 into that equation. So, what the equation is going to look like is, so we're using y. And obviously we have negative 1 times x squared minus 16. So once we times negative into there, it's going to look like as our final equation, negative x squared plus 16. So now with this example, that is going to conclude today's lesson. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. And I hope that this lesson has helped you to understand finding the equations of a parabola. Until the next time guys, see ya.